Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 22nd of July 2024. So it's been a crazy few days, hasn't it? Uh, hasn't it really? Uh, what with uh, these uh, cyber attacks and all of the uh, politics, stuff going on here in this country, stuff going on there uh, on the other side of the pond. Uh, well, let's start here in the UK. Our new Labour government uh, is now kind of fully installed and up and running and they've been around, I suppose, for a good couple of weeks or so now. And uh, all I can say is uh, uh, over these next five years, I'm not expecting them to do a single good thing not a single thing that would be actually a benefit to ordinary every, everyday hard-working people like uh, me and like you i just can't see it happening uh, there might be the odd very little thing that happens they might sort out these ongoing uh, train strikes that we've put up with for the last couple of years maybe they'll sort that maybe they'll reduce uh, bus and train fares a little bit here and there or sort of make sure they're reduced uh, but uh, uh, as far as uh, the, the important stuff's concerned I can't really see them doing anything of any benefit at, at all and I can just see them doing a whole lot of extra harm as if we haven't had enough of that already over the last few years or few decades even so that's all I'm going to say about what's going on here. Uh, what's going on in the States, though, is absolutely incredible. Assassination attempts. And now, just uh, in the last day or so, we hear that Biden uh, isn't going to be running for president again. So that's opened up a whole another can of worms over there. And yeah, I wonder what's going to happen. But uh, I suppose the biggest news, and I haven't really commented on this up to now because uh, I don't really know enough about it, still don't. So I'm only going to just come out with a couple of my observations about the assassination attempt. Uh, first of all, and I know there's a lot of theories to saying that it was a set up really to uh, kind of help Trump and help with his ratings and everything, uh, which it certainly has done, uh, but uh, uh, that it was staged. I'm not sure about that myself, to be honest with you. Uh, and uh, if it was a genuine attempt, I suppose time will tell, won't it, if it was or wasn't, but uh, uh, I'm not going to say one way or the other. But uh, if it was a genuine attempt on his life, he was uh, obviously extremely lucky i think uh what happened was uh, uh the sniper was aiming at his head from the side here i believe i think it was on the right hand side and uh trump just managed to uh turn his um head almost 90 degrees so that the instead of the bullet going like that it ended up kind of going down the side of his head and, and just nicked his ear there so uh uh that was obviously very, very lucky indeed. Uh, now, there's a couple of stories going around about this assassination attempt, uh, which are highly contradictory. And the first story is, uh, this is if they're both true, of course, I haven't verified that either of them uh, are true uh, they may both be true they may both be false i don't know but assuming they're both true they seem to contradict themselves or each other uh, to a remarkable degree the first story is this thing that uh, the big investment banks like vanguard and state streets uh, blackrock etc these horrible companies who basically own the whole world and therefore rule the whole world pretty much uh, them and their backers uh, they supposedly uh, placed a short bet on the stock market against trump's companies uh, i won't go into what that means but basically they were betting on him getting assassinated and therefore the price share prices of all of his companies 
uh, crash in, which they probably would have done. And uh, yeah, you can make money on the stock market when share prices go down as well as going up. And so that's what they were trying to do. Which is obviously, if that's true, was, uh, just shows how evil these companies were. But the story that kind of conflicts with that is apparently uh, the New York Post has a story saying that uh, Trump, if he's elected, uh, will be appointing BlackRock's CEO, a guy called Larry Fink, as his Treasury Secretary, um, which I suppose is the uh, their equivalent of the Chancellor of the Exchequer here in this country. So those two stories don't exactly correlate, do they? Uh, not at all. And if the second story is true, uh, well, I wouldn't say that uh, uh, means that Trump's exactly on our side, does it? Uh, it doesn't exactly say uh, if he's in cahoots with the likes of uh, BlackRock and their leadership, uh, that he is exactly going to be someone who's our saviour and who's going to be coming along and saving the day for us all. Uh, says just the opposite. And my takeaway from this kind of thing is just not to have any heroes whatsoever. Uh, you know, you just don't expect uh, these people to come along and save the day. Uh, you know, that, that sort of thing should be left to uh, higher powers. But uh, certainly if they're a human being, uh, and especially a politician, uh, are they going to save you? Highly doubtful. Now, the only other thing I would say about this, and I don't think it's something that uh, many people uh, or anyone really has picked up on, uh, apart from me, maybe it's because I'm uh, quite well into my history and that kind of thing uh, but uh, I find it quite extraordinary that uh, and now by the way before I go into this don't read anything into this I'm not saying there is stuff to be read into it and I'm certainly not comparing Donald Trump with the other guy I'm about to mention not at all uh, so don't draw those sort of conclusions but uh, I'm, it's just an observation uh, but I do find it incredible that uh, this unsuccessful assassination on Donald Trump happened very, very nearly within just a few days of the 80th anniversary of Stauffenberg's uh, assassination attempt on Hitler on July the 20th, 1944. Um, again, Hitler had a miraculous escape. Stauffenberg sneaked in his briefcase uh, bomb, uh, which was a very powerful bomb, which went off in a relatively small room. Uh, by rights, everybody in that room, uh, including Hitler, should have been killed, but he miraculously escaped. And pretty much 80 years to the day, we have another miraculous escape by another leader, in the United States. So that is quite an incredible uh, observation, I'd have thought, or yeah, quite an incredible thing, should I say. And uh, yeah, what do you make of that? Um, I find it sort of remarkable. Uh, like I say, I'm not necessarily saying there's anything to read into this, and I'm certainly not comparing uh, Donald Trump uh, with that other uh, guy I mentioned. But uh, very interesting, don't you think? And with that, I'm going to leave you back soon. Tim from Fair Play Now, thanks for watching.